I'm Father Rubiston, a clavishi missionary. I'm also vocation director and here Father Byron. Hi everybody, thank you for being here with us on MyClaret.org. Today we're going to talk about how do we accompany people if mm. someone wants to be a priest mm -hmm. and he comes to you and what do you, how do you accompany them? Like what do you mean by accompaniment? Um, that's a great question and I'm pretty sure a lot of people who are watching this are wondering what's accompaniment, this word that we clinicians use in vocation work. And um, accompaniment uh, basically comes from the Latin and it works like it means to walk together. You, somebody begins a journey and we kind of join their journey together. Hopefully being of some sort of companionship and mentoring and um, hopefully helping them find what they are supposed to be. So when it comes down to accompanying somebody, what we do as clinicians, uh, first of all, we come together. We get to know each other. We start like having conversations. You know, we usually, there is a process that we do. We send a letter to our candidates introducing ourselves. Then we send a postcard with a picture of our lady. So, because uh, we also invite our lady to pray for us and pray with us and help us find what we want uh, in life. And then uh, we start talking, you know, on the phone, you, know, you start texting, you start doing WhatsApp, uh, uh, people, a lot of people, you know, get to us on Facebook. And after that, uh, what we do is that we get together. Mm -hmm. We have a, a person to person conversation, a one on one, mm -hmm. in which we try to really see, you know, where we are in this. Mm -hmm. And after that, some people might say, you know, I'm not sure about what to do with my life. Mm -hmm. So we craft. Uh, a, a program, a set, a set of series, a series of tools that we can give them so they can find what they want in life. So people know what they, that they want to be religious but then they don't know which community they should join. Mm -hmm. So again, we have something especially crafted for them and uh, we offer them tools so that they can find what their talents, their gifts are and also what community they are like the best match. Mm -hmm. And also um, there are other people who really want to, they know that they are called to the religious life, to the priesthood, the brotherhood, uh, being a permanent deacon and they know they want to be clinicians so we, we work with them in something that's called the application process. Mm -hmm. So it's three different dynamics but the thing is like um, no matter where people are in life we can always um, be there for them to do this accompaniment program. Thank you so much for Byron. I have another question. Sure. As I am a vocation director, most of the time the guys ask me, if I come to an accompaniment, mm -hmm. should I be a priest? Mm -hmm. Or I can decide, you know, I have a call to be married. Mm -hmm. You know, what do you think about that? If I come to accompaniment, does that mean that I should become a priest? Yeah, that's very scary because a lot of people think it's like, oh, I don't want to call father because if I call him, he's going to uh, not let me go. But no, uh, the whole point of accompaniment is just to help people find their calling life. Mm -hmm. I think you and I, when we meet the, with our candidates, we, we tell them um, what we want you is to be happy. Uh, and to find and to fulfill the call that you've been given by God and by life. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of people, you know, find out that their call is marriage and we are happy with them, we rejoice with them mm -hmm. because we know that they are at peace with the decision, with the call they've found. Mm. Uh, what's your experience of accompanying people? Mm -hmm. uh, like, how do you feel being a priest and doing this ministry? How do you feel accompanying people? Mm. Um, I think it's a beautiful gift mm -hmm. because um, like when somebody lets you into their lives mm -hmm. um, with something that you don't talk to all, all people about your call to the priesthood, the religious life, mm -hmm. and um, when they invite you over, I think uh, it's a privilege, an honor, something that's sacred, something that's um, very respected, mm -hmm. and um, we, we establish a connection, we start praying for each other, we start asking all these clinicians around the world to pray for them, uh, and the sisters, mm -hmm. and so you know there is like a whole communion, so to say, mm -hmm. you know, of, of people that come together mm -hmm. to accompany this one person. Mm -hmm. So to me, I feel honored and I feel happy and I feel really humbled that um, somebody will invite us into their lives mm -hmm. to walk with them. Mm -hmm. How about you? How do you feel about it? Um, I'm a vocation director for only like four months. I feel it's privilege for me that people tell me stories, their personal stories, their spiritual stories, their family stories. And I just walk with them, listen to them, and try to help them to understand 
whether God calls them to be a priest mm -hmm. or to a marriage life. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it's it's definitely a privilege. And uh, if anybody feels that they have a thought or they have some feeling of becoming a priest, they should give it a try. You know, come to an accompaniment, uh, just, you know, be in the process and know that what God wants you to do in your life. You don't have to be a priest, but if God calls you to be a priest, that you should be a priest. I think that's it. I think that's wonderful and that is the truth. You know, uh, uh, if we don't risk it, if we don't try it, uh, there's always going to be that what if, you know, mm -hmm. and there's really nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it's always a win-win. Mm -hmm. uh, people think, oh, I'm going to waste all this time of, of my life. Not really, you know, because mm -hmm. you grow as a person and you get affirmed in your, mm -hmm. what your call is. Thank you, Father Byron, for talking about uh, what's all about accompaniment and what we expect from them. And even if somebody comes to accompaniment, it is a process that a person finds out what God wants in his life. And thank you for sharing that. And if you have any more questions about accompaniment, please go to our website, myclaret.org, or our phone number, which will be below <laughs> our video, 818-825. 0839 or 312-320-8870 thank you so much bye